And the tension is mounting. Everybody's looking forward to seeing Joe. Got a real crowd here. All kinds of folks come in from Vegas all over. Look at everybody who's come in to see Joe. Can't even see him all. There's so many. There's even some ladies sitting on the floor. There's so many people here. See this lady sitting on the floor. Wait to see Joe. talking to my mum because when I'm going to go and talk I say I'm on stage mummy in like 10 minutes she said where are you I said Vegas yeah <laughs> it's never happened to me before <laughs> so this is my first time in Vegas hold on hold on hold on I've been to Vegas many times that's my first time talking first time as a uh, appearance for reboot and talking about Judas. So I've been talking about a lot of other things in Vegas in my life, but, but not this one. I love your city. Um, it's a great place. I've been coming here, boy, as long as I can remember when the families to come over for holidays, we would come to Vegas. And uh, even in the movie, Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead, you remember I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I came to Vegas and I stayed in, um, stayed in Paris Hotel, I think yeah. is where we stayed. We got a good deal for the crew. And uh, I don't know what day I was on. I'm going to guess I was probably in the 40s something where, maybe 45, 46 of just juice only. Yeah. And that was a really good, interesting experience, you know, walking down the, uh, the, the strip there <laughs> with my juice and just talking to all these drunk out of control. <laughs> <laughs> because the last time that I was in Vegas, I was one of those people. <laughs> so it was, it was really, really interesting, really good. So thank you for coming out tonight. Um, it's, uh, you know, coming out and spending some time with me tonight. I know how important and valuable time is. That's really, really valuable. And you are giving it up to me, for me tonight. And so I really appreciate that. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for coming. And, and it, it, it means the world. I'm on, oh, well, thank you. So I'm on 26, this one is, number 26, for public events for this tour. Wow. Nice. Um, it's the 26th one. So you reckon I've got this speech down pat by now, right? <laughs> I try to make it interesting just for myself, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so we mix it up a bit. But, but this is the, the third leg of a global three-leg tour. I have uh, 13 events to go after tonight. Um, I go to California tomorrow. I've got Cal San Francisco, Bay Area, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Portland and Seattle next week. Then I'm down into Tennessee, Nashville, Louisville, um, Say I'm hi to Leslie Justice. Um, Indianapolis, I didn't want to miss out on them. Ohio, in you know, Cleveland, and then um, another place in Ohio, which is a big city, which is called Columbus. 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 <laughs> and then Pittsburgh, and then back to New York. And so that's the wrap up of what's been an incredible tour. It's been fabulous to get out. I've already been across America on leg one. I've done New Zealand, Australia, Hong Kong, England, Ireland, and Canada. And now, of course, a lot of your amazing country so it's been wonderful to get out and meet so many people that have been touched by my films and I often say I just wish that everyone could experience what it's like to be on the other side of my uh, phone my Twitter account my Instagram account my Facebook account yeah. uh, and my private messages on reboot and everything that just the incredible uh, show of support and of sharing success and of course pain and people who are struggling but you know, it's I get three or four hundred messages, and I'm not exaggerating every day, private messages. And I have actually have now two full-time staff that we have to uh, to get through this. And any of you who've sent me a message would know you've either had Kristen or Sophie, because I, I we, if I respond, it's Joe. But I make sure when they respond, so people don't think it's me. We make sure we're very clear on transparency that it's Sophie or, or Kristen, and, and they're full-time, just managing our our response rate. Which who would have thought? I mean, you know, when I first embarked on this journey to change my life and get a camera on myself. I mean, 
You've got to remember, it's back in 2006, okay, is when I made this decision, this choice. And in 2006, YouTube was only one year old, okay? Um, these were minus one, okay? Uh, Netflix was t sending out DVDs and videos in a red envelope. So when I made this film, I just thought, you know, who really is going to care about some rich white guy drinking green juice driving across America, you know? Who would care? And that's honestly when I was making the movie, I was, I was saying that. I, I'd meet, the, meet people on the street and I'd interview them and I'd say, listen, it doesn't matter what you say because no one's going to watch this. <laughs> honestly. Honestly. Little did they know, like three years later when all their friends are ringing up, and saying, you know, you're on Netflix, you're on Netflix. I mean, Terry, the, uh, the uh, guy in the gun shop, oh, I mean, he's yeah, a classic yeah, yeah, example, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. Terry, I, you gotta remember this. I go into Terry's gun shop in 2008, and I just walk in, because when you're in small towns, I just do what I like, you know? Um, but, you know, you wouldn't necessarily walk into a Barnes & Noble with a camera crew, right? I mean, Josh and the guys here would chase you out straight away. But when you're in small towns and it's someone's shop, well, I just walk in with a camera crew and four people, and Terry's, yep. what's going on here? You know? yeah. And I said, mate, I want to have a chat to you, and he didn't move, and we just, what you saw was that conversation, was just real-time conversation. And of course, I'm only in there 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops, and then I'm gone. Now, that's 2008, and the movie doesn't come out to 2011, so you've got to remember, you don't really think about a half-hour meeting you had you know, three years ago, and then all of a sudden, all everyone's ringing Terry up on July 1 of 2011 when the movie hit Netflix, and his daughter came over with a, with a laptop, because Terry didn't have Netflix, and played it for him, and that's when they had that whole moment, which you see in Fat City Nearly Dead 2, where he realises I'm one of these people, I'm one of the ignorant people, because he, he sees himself in the light of being one of the many that I met. So, and of course he changed his life, which is another whole story. So what we're gonna to do tonight is we're gonna to talk for a little bit. I'm gonna chat and we're gonna do Q and A. Any questions, anyone's got any questions they wanna ask me? We'll try and rapid fire and get those done. And then we're gonna do photos and um, signing of the book. Um, all right, so my story. Good on Joey, thanks for coming mate. You're Mark? Yes Mark, of course you are, you're the bloke who's and have you put your success story into reboot? Okay. You know, if you were a, a woman, a little bit less hairy, a little prettier. Yeah, I know. You changed my life. You changed my life. I love that, mate. Thank you for telling me that. And this is the girl that literally introduced me. She did it, Ronnie. All right. And where's Ronnie tonight? Right here. She's not here, unfortunately. She lives in in Vegas. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give you an email to send your success story to. Okay. So, so it's Jamie, J-A-M-I-E, at, and then it's rebootwithjoe.com. Okay. So have you been on our website? Of course, yes. Okay. I have your thing on my, your app on my phone. Okay. So Jamie at rebootwithjoe.com. I don't write very well, but you've got it there. So right, it's, it's normal to feel like it was, uh, Yes. Yeah. Well, if you had not had the protein powder in your juices, you probably wouldn't know. It was like my... Yeah, yeah. I, I had the same thing, yeah. All right, Mark. Big smile. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good on you, mate. Thanks very much. No, thank you, seriously. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming, mate. Well, good on you, mate. You, 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 I was like, I was, I was like, oh shit, you're right here, right now. Who's in between? Oh, I remember. So you drive a cab here, mm -hmm. and what's that? How's that lifestyle work out for you? It's tough, yeah. especially with me. Right. Because uh, all you have around you is on the passenger. Have, have, have you done a reboot yet? Have you, what have you, what have you, what have you done? The most I lasted was seven days, right. but I've incorporated the, the mean green juice and so far it was 57. Down 57, so that's right. Of course. All right, mate, let's get a photo. Right. All right, good on you, mate. Thanks for coming tonight. Right? Really me you no, 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 it's great. Yeah, you know, I, I actually developed a Australian accent. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Well, give me some. <laughs> Get your baby's rights. Put it in the way. All right, mate. All the best. Katie, right, this is for Paul. Paul, who is your mum? Yeah, give her a bit of support. Okay, Katie, that's very nice. Let's get a photo. 
right. Thank you so much for coming tonight. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Yeah, this is the top of the taste story. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Well, All right. So we have a we have a thing called guided reboot on our website for diabetes. That's a specialist trainer who takes people through from diabetes over sixty days to no diabetes. Okay. Okay. But but so I would love you to explore that and check out on our website the whole area about diabetes. Okay. I'm not the doctor, so I don't give out the advice. But I've got the doctors on there doing. It. Okay. So, so you know, some doctors say you can't juice because you're diabetic, but there's many, many people who've done juicing and are not diabetics anymore. Of course, we know Dan. Dan was in our TV campaign. Yes, he was. What's this one for? This is for a friend of ours. If you look from the back, it's our belly dancing thing from uh, Fort Mojave. Fort Mojave. Mm -hmm. Okay, she great. She lost a lot of weight, and then she did a rebooting uh, uh, belly dancing contest. Sorry that Cynthia couldn't be here. Yeah, we're about a hundred and something. Well, you drove tonight, Dan. Yeah, we drove. Good on you, mate. Where, which direction are you? Broad south. Down? South. Yeah, we're Ninety-five from, miles. I drove from um, Tucson last night here. King's, yeah. King's, King's, King's Kingman, yeah. Kingman. Kingman. We're you drive dis that way? Yeah, well, we're in the south of the valley. That's the <laughs> I, drove, I drove that way. I drove through Kingman. There's no service. service. I felt like I was in the third world country. You would have just been waving down into the valley at us. That's where we are. Lucky you. Beautiful. I know. How are you feeling, Dan? You good? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mate. Of course, of course. Of course. We all do. All right, well, thank you guys for coming. Do you want to get Betty and Dan in a photo or just you, Dan? No. Just get Dan. Yeah. <laughs> We're filming anyways. I'm filming oh, it. <laughs> Here, I'll do it this, this way. There, like this. Okay, okay. now. Da -da -da. All right. Thanks, Joe. Uh, oh, we're on video we again. Okay, good. Thanks. <laughs> we're on video again, anyway. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. All right, thanks, Dan. Good on you, mate. Good to see you. <laughs> Amy, how are you? Good. Yeah, that was good. I'm very good. Yeah, that was good. And there was Vanessa and her husband. Thank you for coming and thanks for waiting around. Is that So we're here in Vegas with Michelle. She watches the movie last night. She's on her way to buy a Breville Juicer. She stops in Barnes & Noble to buy the book and hears me talking. Is that right, Michelle? Unbelievable. What a coincidence. Juice on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to work? It's hilarious. Let's, hear, let's, let's, let's just check. Well, I, I filmed it on your phone at the very least. It's hilarious. She watches the movie last night. She's on her way to buy a Breville Juicer. She stops in Barnes & Noble to buy the book and hears me talking. Is that right, Michelle? <laughs> That's awesome. She watches the movie. You were so funny. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm dreaming. Like, oh, I had this dream that I read this book and then the guy was there. <laughs> that was so weird. Wouldn't that be freaky? Like, you what? Know I just I recognize that voice. I was on my way to get the juicer and I thought, oh, I'll go get the book first. That's unreal. Where Best Buy or what? Uh, the, at, uh, they sell the juicers at Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. Oh, the Rebels. Rebels. No. I'll be two seconds, guys, or I'll get this out so I don't lose it. Where, so. Are you tweeting or yeah, no, got, no, no, it's going to only a few hundred thousand people. So hang on, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle saw the movie. So funny. Saw the movie last night. First time. Was on her way. Where were you going to? Which store? Bed, bath, and beyond. Buy a Breville, yeah. Breville juicer from Bed, bath, and beyond and decides to drop in to Barnes and Noble. Noble. 
I need to get the smaller thumbs now to see if I have, yeah, if there are, if, see if there are any books by me. And then she hears the voice of the other end of the store. Who says you can't get lucky in Vegas? <laughs> What's this Barnes and Noble? Is it Rainbow? North Rainbow? Yep, yeah. North Rainbow Promenade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you checking in and everything? I've got to do all of that, yeah. Okay, that's up. Awesome. All right, have we done all a right. photo yet, Michelle? Well, I, I yeah. feel like I've been working, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Big smile. Okay, perfect. Thank Good you. On you. Thanks Thank so you much. so much. Oh, Good it's on so you. great to meet you. No worries. I should have tagged you in that, actually, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, I'll tag myself. Yeah, yeah, do that. Purplehumansthemovie.com <laughs> Are they juicing? Pardon? Are they juicing? <laughs> no, no, this film's not going to focus so much on juicing. This one's going to focus on all the amazing things that kids are doing to get more um, plant food into their life. Well, that, you know, that's exactly what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's my